Okay, so I've decided at the beginning of 2015 that I'm going to do a little bit of a clear out of some of the ephemera and happy mail that I got from last year. So I'm not going to actually just bin it. This is actually a little painting done for me by my niece Sarah. And I have quite a few of these so I'm quite happy to use it in some form or other in my art. Now, I have so many napkins, um, bits of embellishments and ephemera and just bits of painted paper and tape and um, just shapes that I've punched out and things like that. But I'm actually deciding that I'm just going to collage the whole lot down and start creating a whole bunch of pages of collage. So what I'm going to do is just fast forward this whole thing and you can just see how I go about doing some collage papers. Um, just to use, like I'm using um, drop papers, bits that are messy, um, you know, leftover printouts and pictures that I didn't use and probably won't use for 2015. So yes, I'm on a mission today to glue and stick. So what you're seeing here is me using my homemade Mod Podge and my homemade Mod Podge is actually two-thirds white glue like an Elmer's glue or a, a wood PVA glue and one-third water. Now for a process like this I tend to thin it down a little bit so that it, it goes further and it doesn't get too thick um, it needs to soak into this napkins that I'm using and paper towel but be thick enough to be able to use um, the strips of cardstock and other bits and embellishments and bits that I'm, I'm putting in here so essentially I've got some napkins here that have actual food coloring on them that's the teal and see right there and uh, they were done when I was actually dyeing some uh, a book binding cord and I just wanted to do something different and those are the marks that left and I really liked them so I kept them and of course I've got three layers of them because it was three ply. Now notice that I'm taking all the other plies off the napkins that I'm doing it makes them more translucent but honestly who wants to put layers and layers of napkins down as well. So I'm just using a whole bunch of scrap paper these are from magazine ads and I really liked the prints in them and I just think as I went further and further in, like there's a napkin here and I, as much, I don't really like Buddhas so I just wanted to use a bit of the texture and use some of the napkins that on an actual page where I'm doing a project I wouldn't necessarily use or put together and I was just trying bits and pieces of embellishments and combinations of bits and pieces of things and that's all stuff that I had left over from projects and that I wouldn't necessarily use again but in a collage work I might and some of these will be cut up and some of them will actually be used as the basis for a page who knows what I'm going to use them for that particular napkin I actually used that's probably I don't know I've got one more square of it I, I loved it look at the random bits of paper that I'm doing here and little one-off embellishments that I don't use very much and I'm like I just think to myself I just was in this mood to just sit there and stick down 50 million things I think <laughs> so I'm just using some scratch paper and um, as a basis here and I'm starting at this point after just happily gluing away randomly I'm actually now starting to think about color so the only thing whenever you're doing anything is um, color and composition so with collage if you're looking to do your collage to actually um, be on a page and that is a standalone thing like I have a friend Ros Jones who does fabulous fabulous collage on its own and doesn't sort of cover it up now that is 
something different to what I'm doing here. What I'm essentially doing here is choosing to use a whole bunch of little bits and pieces that I often forget to use through the year because unless I'm going to be a bit like Shannon Green and have everything catalogued um, and heavily organized then you know things like that get mixed. I like the translucency of using white napkins with those kinds of backgrounds. It looks really interesting. Just even little bits of my own do digital doodle prints just to give some something different to the page. I just had two strips of them there and all these gorgeous little embellishments and bits and pieces that I got sent in Happy Mail. A lot of this is just Happy Mail. And surprisingly enough, after I finished doing 16 sheets, I think, of this, I still have an awful lot of it left. It just shows you the amount that you can accumulate over a 12 month period. And I love the idea that I can actually then seriously use these sorts of things in um, any pages that I have or I can cut them into borders or to strips. I started after these pages thinking about using the um, hexagons as uh, a pattern feature. So it'll be interesting as that comes up you'll see it. But I just love the um, Oh, I love this napkin. I actually saved the rest of it. It's just the Russian dolls. I discovered it while I was in there because often I don't see everything. How gorgeous is that? They are just so damn cute. Really love that page. It is really, really cute. Can't wait to see whatever I use. Even some tags that I found that I had. So here I start using the hexagons in a way that I can just, you know, start thinking about using them as patterns. And I like the fact that you can have translucent layers that go over and over. Although the pages, though those photocopy pages, they get quite wet and uh, you've got to be careful how much you load on them when they're still wet. You've got to wait for them to dry. Now this is a napkin I wouldn't necessarily use on a page. I think for me it's a bit busy. Um, but I thought here it went really well over those diamonds. And I just started thinking a little bit about, yeah, how I could meld all of that together and do something different with it that was still in the same colour family. and. Hmm. So just thinking about using little bits and pieces here. Again those hexagons, I've got stacks of those, I actually really like that punch so um, this is, you can just do it out of coloured paper and then start creating those additional things on your page. And they work together better than I think circles do. That news, that, that music print napkin that somebody gave me, I can't believe how far that's gone amazing. I was amazed at the sort of small little embellishments that people have given me. Yeah, I just couldn't get over the amount of them that I had. This was a strip I had left over doing a gel medium technique through a stencil with dilution spray, so having the dilution sprays suspended in it. I really, I think this is one of my favourite collage sheets. I was looking at greys and pinks and thinking about, you know, how the, the relationship of the greys and the pinks together. Yeah, and then I decided to add it in some blues. So I graded it down below. And some of these napkins, like that one has a yellow background and I think to myself, oh, am I ever gonna use that? I can't, every time I pull it out to use it, I just don't. <laughs> it's funny that 
when this is dry I really like the way those hexagons have dried into that napkin and the napkins here are all really quite rough when they're dry so it's great texture if you want to paint over it later on I love that that's a piece of tape I got just before Christmas gorgeous stuff using some things from the flower embellishment swap I think we're looking at the last page here, I was looking at pinks and purples and these are just some things that I had printed out some free printables that I would printed out to use as background for cards and I was just sick of carrying them all around with me all the time back from my card making days so I just thought I would grade some very strong colours here and I had these beautiful and they're almost like wallpaper embellishments and uh, these are just gorgeous these beautiful flowers and somebody sent me them and they're quite vintage but I think they really um, go with this particular type of page quite well I think this was one of my favourite pages of all of them I haven't done all the pages here just some using your translucency to really make it work and essentially I did these in batches over the day then hung them up on my little drying line and then when they were dry I've just stacked them all up and I will use them as a resource but they're much easier to store now than all the little bits were at the end in tubs so thank you for watching and ciao for now, learn something new today, it keeps you young.